The year was 1871, and the city of Portland was just 20 years old. That same year, the War Department directed Major Henry M. Robert to establish a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers office in Portland to address the growing importance of the Columbia and Willamette Rivers as navigational waterways. And Portland District was born. That was 150 years ago, during an era when river transportation was an innovative mode of shipping goods throughout the United States. For 58 years after Portland District's founding, it focused on the water and busily made river improvements and constructed canal projects and coastal jetty systems. It was this foundation that paved the way for safe and reliable waterways that allow for billions of dollars of commerce to reach as far east as Iowa. Then, in the 1930s, President Franklin D. Roosevelt and the nation tasked the Corps with harnessing the mighty Columbia River and its vast hydropower potential with 10 dams, the first of which was Bonneville Lock and Dam. Its construction marked the start of Portland District's Columbia River multi-purpose project, which includes the Dalles and John Day Lock and Dams. Moving into the 1940s, Congress authorized the district to build another system of dams to address the constant flooding in Portland and the Willamette Valley. We were able to build 13 of these dams during the next 20 years to reduce the impacts of flooding for millions of Oregonians, ultimately saving countless lives and billions of dollars in flood damage. It's a series of dams that reduces flood risks to this day. As the Portland district was nearing completion of the Willamette Valley system, Congress also authorized several dams in the Rogue River Basin to help mitigate flooding in the southern parts of the state. Jess Dam, the structure that created Lost Creek Lake, was one of the district's most popular recreation sites, averaging more than a quarter of a million visitors each year. As part of the nation's engineering firm, the Portland district also responds to crisis at a moment's notice, both here in the Pacific Northwest and in other regions of the country. From recent issues like deadly wildfires and the pandemic response, to historic incidents like the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 and the Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989, Portland District even sent crews to New York City to aid in the recovery efforts in the aftermath of 9-11. Back home, district engineers continue to focus on how its projects impact the environment and how it can mitigate those issues while balancing our other priorities. From protecting aquatic resources and endangered species to working alongside our indigenous tribal partners, the dedication and commitment of the Portland District has never wavered. As Portland District reflects upon its first 150 years as an organization, it's important to note how far the organization has come and the work that lies ahead. What started with one army major and his clerk looking to improve navigation routes has grown into the nation's largest civil works engineering firm with more than 1,400 associates were dedicated to serving the people and environment in the Pacific Northwest.